Go. Hey everybody, Mark Roberts, Coach Mark from Journeyman Fitness. Uh, we, uh, Chuck's behind the camera. We're gonna film a, a quick kind of tip video for all of our athletes here at the gym. And the, the reason is there's a ton of videos for elite athletes and, and how to go fast and how to get ready for regionals and stuff. And the, and the, and the brutal truth is, I think Chuck may be the only person who could potentially go to regionals. So for most people, and he's shaking his head no, but for most people, you know, really, they just wanna have a, a really great workout, kind of achieve their potential during that workout. Then we wanna remove kind of all the barriers that we can uh, besides, obviously, like any deficiencies that you haven't worked on in the last year. So, going over this workout, 15.1 and 15.1a was released last night, 8 o'clock. Really exciting, total game changer as, as far as, uh, you know, kind of the workouts go. This is not seven minutes of burpees. And, uh, and, and really, I think this will be the first time such a large group of people will be testing their one rep max clean and jerk. Uh, some big things that uh, our athletes need to think about, uh, and I'm going to go down this list here. I've, I've hopefully written this and you can read it. Um, but 15.1, first part is a nine minute AMRAP. We've got toes to bar, deadlifts, and snatches. Okay? So for most people, obviously, I'm going to recommend that they go RX because I think that that's some of the, the, the beauty of going RX and challenging yourself. And, uh, and really kind of getting out of your comfort zone. Um, obviously, you know, it's just kind of trying to get as many reps as you can, but <clears throat> when, when would you make that decision to go scaled? Really, I think the big things are is, you know, if you're uh, the weight of the snatch, okay, are you able to snatch 115 pounds or uh, 75 pounds? Um, or do you need to go down to 85 and 55? And then if you go down to 85 and 55, you're also allowed to go ground to overhead. So you could potentially do clean and jerks, right? Just kind of ground to shoulders and then get it up overhead with 85 pounds or 55 pounds. Um, that's a good one. And then two, same thing with toes to bar. If you're physically not able to do a single toes to bar, obviously that's a great reason to go to scaled, all right? Then you go down to hanging knee raises, which is way more accessible. So those would be the two reasons. You know, do I stay at RX or do I go down to scaled? All right, for this workout, what I would recommend is either doing the workout on Friday or Saturday, and then redoing it on Monday and allowing yourself a day or two to uh, recover from it. Um, you know, even if you wanted to try one day as scaled and then one day RX, um, then you can also do that, but this is a great workout to potentially do twice. All right, so the big thing for 15.1 is gonna be your grip, okay? So the, the big things for you, we wanna think about, you know, how do I save my grip between hanging on the bar, the deadlifts, and the snatches, your grip is going to be really a, a major factor. I think more, much more than an engine, right? Like your capacity and heart and breathing and all that. So. One, make sure that your uh, hands are well taken care of, right? Make sure that on the deadlifts you're doing a mixed grip, right? So you're, you've got both hands here rather than trying to grab, right, with, with an overhand grip or hook grip. Same thing with snatches, right? When you're doing snatches, right, absolutely hook grip, right? Take some of it, take some of it out of uh, your forearms and if you're doing ground to overhead with a with a shorter with hands in closer, it's going to be less strain on that grip, right? To get it up to the shoulders and then up overhead. All right. Um, second thing, mobility. For most people, the biggest things that they can do, kind of in these last few days, right? They don't have six months to get ready for more toes to bar. Really, we want to work on mobility. We want to work on your T-spine, right? So right in between your shoulder blades and allowing you for the, the toes to bar, the hanging knee raises to use a kit, right? Not just to use your hips and kind of raise your legs, but to be able to kind of wind yourself up, right? And then swing up and, and get those feet up to the, to the bar, right? We want to save our hip flexors and, uh, and really be able to swing down to the bottom. Uh, two, hips and hamstrings. 
We need to mobilize your hips and hamstrings to one, make sure that the deadlifts are easy, right? We don't want to really smoke our, our lower back because our hamstrings are real tight, okay? And then when we're doing kind of, you know, multiple snatches of ground to overhead, we again don't want to smoke our lower back just because it, it gets kind of tough when we get past our knees. So we want to we want to make sure that our ankles, right? And that's what I wrote on the third one. We want to make sure that our ankles are flexible, our hips, our hamstrings. We've kind of relieved all of the pressure from there, and that when we get into the workout, it's easier to get into a really great position, all right, with a with a flat back, and we're not smoking ourselves just because we're you know kind of trying to move around any restrictions that we have. All right, and then finally for your pacing. All right, here's how, here's how I do. Toes to bar is gonna be the crux of this workout, okay? So when you do the toes to bar, the hanging knee raises, for most of our athletes, don't even think about going all 15 in a row, okay? Your, your grip is gonna be shot, right? Your abs are gonna be smoked, and then your hip flexors are also gonna be tired. So plan on breaking it up. If you can do a lot of toes to bar, I would recommend starting off with six, five, four. Right, a descending triplet. Some people will do five, 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 but I think five, six, five, four would be great. Or just do sets of one, two, or three. Right, just get through the round. Be quick. All right, go. Uh, we've got some. We've got some kind of low bars here on our rig. So using the low bar, do a single, drop off a bar, reset, and then just kind of try to really crank through it. Okay. As far as the deadlift. Mixed grip, unbroken, make sure that you're breathing and you're staying, you know, relaxed. You're trying not to get your heart rate up. This is kind of, uh, you know, deadlifts at, at uh, 115 or 75 are, are not really that heavy. So just kind of make sure that you're hitting the reps really well and you're not uh, getting your heart rate up. And then for the snatches, I would do singles. All right, lift it up, drop the weight, reset, go again. All right, it'll save your grip, it'll save your back, and, uh, and for most people who are gonna fail on the toast to bar, this is a way for you to kind of save a little bit of energy. All right, and then finally, for 15.1a, once we're done with the nine minutes of this workout, then we immediately go into 15.1a. You're gonna use the same bar, and you're gonna try to establish a one rep max clean and jerk. All right, a couple of things that you're gonna notice. One, this is not gonna be a new one rep max. Okay? You're going to be tired, you're going to be pre-fatigued. This is going to be like a high percentage of your one rep max. Um, two, you're going to be sweaty, so make sure that when you do this that you've got a t-shirt on and some chalk that's going to uh, keep the bar sitting on your shoulders. Um, and then three, the toughest thing is going to be getting the bar off of the ground. Right, Your, your kind of body's already smoked from doing the snatches and the deadlifts. So once we get that up, uh, you're gonna be prime. I don't think the jerk's really gonna be a big problem unless you're rushed. So plan on maybe three attempts at getting uh, a new one rep max during this workout, okay? So again, for all that workout, right, do you go RX or scaled? I think the big decision is, is the weight and the toes to bar. Uh, your grip is gonna be a big function, so make sure that you're planning on dropping often for the toes to bar pacing yourself uh, so that you're not death gripping and you're relaxed. Um, and then two, uh, spending a lot of time on mobility so that you don't have that restriction when you're doing toes to bar or power snatches or, or even deadlift, right? So you can essentially just uh, get the best score that you get, not because you're fighting against uh, tight hamstrings or something like that, all right? To warm up for this, this is, this is gonna be our warm up. One, we're gonna start the day, we're gonna use uh, time for mobility and getting loose. We're gonna work up to like 60, 70% of your one rep max in a clean and jerk, right? To kind of prime the system, uh, get you mobile in the bottom position. And then we're gonna do a practice slash primer uh, for the workout. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three rounds. We're gonna do five deadlifts at a, a lower weight than your uh, prescribed weight for the workout. We're gonna do three power snatches at again, a, a lower rate, and then we're gonna row. So we're gonna row 150 meters or 125 meters. 
and we're gonna do three rounds of that to kind of get yourself primed. And then once we're done with those three rounds, you're gonna walk over, you're gonna hit one clean and jerk at 70% so that your heart rate's up, you're kind of in the zone, and you're gonna not be surprised by kind of what it feels like when you go in and hit that one rep max. All right, then we're gonna, you know, kind of have our game plan, know what's gonna go on. We're gonna hit that workout after we kind of cool down, our heart rate goes down, and we're just gonna slam it and really have a great time. So this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be one of the bigger ones. I think one of, this is probably one of the more fun open workouts that have ever been released. And um, yeah, Chuck and Catherine and Nikki and I are all super excited uh, to see our gym throw down. So if you're not signed up, please sign up and we'll see you in the gym.